Hi, it's Susie from Nail Care Education, and today we're going to do a cool design with matte polish. I have some colors that I've chosen, so let's get started. I spent a good portion of my career always looking for the perfect top coat. One that dries super fast, super shiny, super durable, and then they come out with matte top coat. So at first I was like, ugh, ugly, I don't like it, I, it has no shine. <laughs> but something triggered recently, and I guess I saw something, and then somebody painted really dark with some sparkles, and then put a matte on top, and the whole idea of sparkles is to shine, but with the matte on top it looked really cool. So with the combination of the two, you can get some really cool designs. For this design, I've got these three colors, so I think I'm gonna start with this one. This is a really pretty color, I'll tell you what it is, because everybody always asks me what the color is. It's OPI, and it's called Vaunt to Bite My Neck. <laughs> okay, so just give it a good shake, and I'm just gonna apply this completely, and then I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the mat on top. So we'll just quickly get this on there. And I'll do two coats. I do have a video about how to polish your nails professionally. You can check it out if you need some tips for that. Okay, now I'll go ahead and put the second coat on and I will let it dry just a little bit just so it doesn't take forever after the top coat goes on. Okay, I usually just put them all on and then I really actually go right for the second coat right away. Polish is amazing, it dries really fast now. I can actually see it starting to dry up already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat on. I find the best tip is just really commit to it. Make sure you have a lot on your brush because it'll just pull and it'll just streak. Also too, when you're wearing a dark color, don't forget the little tips. Sometimes it's nice to do a little tip on the end. It just looks really classy, like a really complete finish. Okay. Okay, let that dry for a little bit. So I've got the two coats of color on, and I am gonna put a sparkle on top of this one too, this Northern Light Sparkle. I know some of you said you really like this stuff, it's great. And I'm gonna put the matte on, probably I'm gonna put it on a couple fingers to show you the, the version of it without the sparkle too. So just put a real generous coat of the matte, and then I'll put the sparkle, okay. So I'm gonna put this sparkle on each and every one, except that one little plain one I'm trying to show you with just the plain, because it looks really cool without a sparkle on it too. I'm just gonna get a coat of sparkle on all this. Okay, now I've got the sparkle on it, and now I'm gonna put the matte on it. You can see the matte is actually taking effect which is the drying effect, drying really with a dull shine. Now I'm gonna put the matte on the sparkle. Oh, that looks really cool. I can't believe I like that. I used to just hate it. Okay, let's get that a few minutes. So literally just a couple of minutes and this is already finishing dry. I really like it, it looks really cool. So what you can do, and I really like this technique, and I'll show you a few different designs when the finishing photos, but you can take a clear and you can either take a dotting tool like this and dip it in and do some swirls. You can, and so obviously it'll shine it up and it'll stay shiny because it's a clear top coat that's shiny. So in this case, I'm just gonna do like paint the side of the tip on an angle. And I'll do it all of them. And I will 
we'll do two coats just to make sure that shine stays. That looks really neat. Okay, so I'm going to do a second coat just to make sure you can really see it. It's a very subtle look. You can do this tip too with like a French. That looks really pretty too. I think that looks really cool with pastel designs too. Like if you're doing like a soft pink for a wedding and then maybe do the tips in a French design. Very classic, very pretty. Okay, that looks really smart. It's a very simple design to do. It can be really effective. You can do this, of course, at the end of an appointment. It's just a polish. You don't even have to charge anything for it, but it's really effective. Okay, I'm gonna do some other designs with different colors, and then we can check out the reveal pictures for them. That's what I love about the nail business. There's always new stuff coming in to try, and gives us new designs too. It's lots of fun. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots of videos coming. See you soon.